Hey everyone, welcome back in today's video. What I have right here is I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to fix a 9.6 volt battery or nickel cadmium or NMH batteries. Since these batteries are AA types or C types or D types, whatever types, and basically what our problem here is the wires, they're breaking at the tip. And most of your RC cars are probably having this problem, uh, most likely right now. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting this battery open. It's actually not too bad. We might not have to rip it apart necessarily. Let's see if there's voltage. Around 20 volts just to see. This battery I don't think it's ever been used before. I got this out of Goodwill with the car. The car didn't work, but. Oh man, 3.3 volts. That's very low, but not bad. So it is connected. Oh, I actually just realized it is cut on this side too. Yeah, that's dangerous. Well, we're gonna tear this guy open anyway. This is still really not recommended at home to do, but I'm a professional and I know what I'm doing. I've done this, I've done this with the same type of battery before with no problems. You can actually see that's starting to tear at the top here too. Taking a knife and I'm trying to just gonna slowly start whacking, ripping away at the top of it. If a problem does occur where the wires are touching each other and you know the battery's starting to warm up, stick it in your fire pit and you can probably douse water on it or put it under water, it's probably still gonna explode. Or not explode. Well actually it could explode or it could just have a meltdown. Um, this is still really not recommended to do. I mean, if you guys feel safe enough of doing this, these are pretty safe, and you can pretty much um, disassemble this battery pack within like five seconds because all they are is just connected by uh, these one little canode type things. As you see, I'm really ripping apart the battery here because, well, as much as I don't want to rip it apart, I have no choice. So there's a, there's a third wire connected to the, Okay, so what's going on here is, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Where's my camera? Very hard to see. It's very dark in here. You can see that there's a third wire that connects the one part to the other part in here. It's a little greasy in there. It's not too bad. We will be preparing this back with tape anyway. The, but the problem point is right here. About right there. There's a couple broken wires right there. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to rip this one part, this heat shrink wrap, off. And I'm going to have to take our knife here and just slowly, carefully take that off without Ripping the wires apart. Oh, okay, it's coming off a little bit. Also, be very careful with your hands. I know they say never disassemble battery pack. Well, if you want some life out of your RC car and your battery's starting to break, this is what you do. It's gonna get very, very difficult. Where the uh, I I know the camera is probably not in the best spot. Okay. We're getting to where it gets scary now. We got the wires apart. Sorry if you guys can't see this. I can try to zoom in just a little bit. And just away over there. Kind of just if I can get this one part separated. Normally you would put a new heat shrink wrap on here. I don't have any more left. I might, but I don't believe I do. Gotta do this quickly. 
Now this is not, no, oh shoot. This is not gonna, uh, if the wires were touching, it would better just warm up because it's not designed to sit there and like touch each other like that. Damn, tear it open already. There we go. And they're pretty basic wires. Now what we can do, I keep dropping this thing. Goodness. So they're pretty basic wires. Let's see if we still have voltage just to make sure. I'll test it, make sure I didn't tear anything in the battery pack itself. And we still have 3.3 volts, which is good. And they are very continuous, which is also good. Which means the battery is a very strong battery and could still have some potential life in it. It's a nickel cadmium too, so we're not so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, we're gonna wrap those with tape or shrink wrap. I have to think and see if I have some shrink wrap. We're not gonna replace the wire because it's not needed. All little wire metal fibers are perfectly fine. They're just open. One is good enough. Well, we're gonna put one on a second one as well. Okay, so they're pretty good now. I'm gonna bend them down. Kinda get them to be forcing that torch sort of shape like right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remold this body or the sort of I feel heat coming from somewhere. No, they're fine. I thought I felt heat coming from somewhere, I'm sorry. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this little piece off right here. Well, I'm gonna put the new tape on. I actually have some red tape as well. Uh, I was gonna put some red tape on there to match the thing, but I do not have any red tape right this moment. It's red electrical tape. But we're just gonna use our shade of black. That's fine. Make this as tight as possible in the area that we want it. I know it doesn't look pretty. It does not look pretty, but it's definitely a fix, and it's not. And most people are not going to see your battery. Make it nice and tight around where it's supposed to go. I'm going to put one around here too. Kind of one right there so that it just straps those as tight as possible against the one battery. try to make it 
the, the less of the lump right there. I wanna make sure it's the same height because it's gonna affect how it goes in your car like it did before. I still recommend after you did this to the battery, put it in a battery bag just in case if something went wrong. Test our voltage again. 3.3. I'm gonna put it on. Oh, and the light came on. Good, it's charging. Still wanna put this in a battery bag and monitor the battery. It is charging now. It's a nickel cadmium. I don't know what MAH it is, so probably about four hours of charging time should be good for it. Sometimes the charger will stop, but uh, it's charging now. That's awesome. So it was at 3.3 volts. I'm curious to see if it held anything for these couple of minutes. So we're at 3.3 volts. Something around there. Let's see if it moved up at all, because most of the time it will. Oh, 11.16 volts. Yeah, don't know why it says 11, but it did definitely move up, which is good. It's supposed to say like 3 point or something like that, probably because it got charged really fast, really quick. So you're going to want to put this in a battery bag. I'm going to put it in the battery bag right now and actually put a stop timer on it as well. The stop over four hours, just in case this unit decides it just doesn't want to work. Okay, guys, well... Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and more videos are coming. I'm doing a lot of videos every day. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much. All right, see you in the next one.